I'm thinking the best way. As long as I keep on doing the attacks he requests. Also. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I hit the wrong button and I can't swim fast. Okay, dude. Alrighty, guys. So, welcome back to Ark, where today we got something special. So, Garuga has released his first paid for creature. You can see it back there the Anomala Karez. Now, I have already gone through and tamed me one of these. This was an accident. I was trying to re originally record this first run. Um, but you know what? I would consider it a good practice run because it was kind of scuffed. The second one, I don't know how it's going to go. Um, but yeah, I figured I'd give you guys a quick look at what they look like. These guys look awesome. Here, uh, let's get it in the water more properly so that way we can properly see it. Now, compared to the Sunken Worlds version of the Anomala Karez, this thing is, like, huge. Like, that, w that one was an aquatic shoulder pet from the Sunken Worlds. This one, this one's huge. But, yeah, look at that. Look at this guy. Here, I'll cover my HUD. We'll get a good look at it here before we go and tame it. Now, this is just sort of a bonus episode. I'm not even going to really count it as an episode. For it, so it's just gonna say bonus it's not gonna be episode 46 also I did realize last week the entire time I kept on saying episode 50 because that's when I thought that's what episode I thought we were on we were on episode 45 but yeah so this is the car as now we do have a certain way that we have to tame it and it is a fairly easy tame to be honest um but the first thing you're going to need to do to tame one of these is to kill one of them. It's kind of like a Rhinonanthia, where it drops a pheromone gland. And then you have to consume the pheromone gland. Now, it does not impregnate you. It just kind of makes the Karez think you're one of them. But you also have to wear at least four pieces of chitin armor to do so. So, yeah. But, anyways, we're going to go hop right into the taming of this. It is very simple. It is a bit more like complicated I'd say in terms of uh, normal tames but it it feels good honestly my own opinion okay so we're here there's the car as I want to tame now the other one there he has really good stats he's got 40 and all the stats I need this one you see that that's already a base 39 in health could you imagine what the health would be if I get a 100% perfect tame on this thing? Just imagine it. it it's going to be perfecto. Alright? So, what we're going to do here... we got to leave the tech helmet on so that way we can breathe. And then we pop one of these. And then, boom. Then you can hop in. Now, normally this thing would start attacking you. But seeing how we have the chitin and the pheromone gland. Ride. Ambush tactics. Okay. Okay, uh, we got to, like, actually... Can you not eat these guys? Okay, I guess not. We got to perform ambush tactics on creatures. There we go. That little fish gave me 5%. That's not good. Okay. So we just got to keep on doing these. And the more you do the one it requests, I think the the better taming effectiveness it gets. I should have honestly grabbed some uh, sushi rolls. And I forgot. I grabbed sushi rolls last time. I used one of them. Or did I? Or did it just expire in my inventory? I can't remember if I popped it or not. Okay, prefer and venom... Oh, that was the wrong one. But... That does mean that I can kill it with the preferred attack. So, the venom attack. So, yeah. You legit just keep on doing the attacks it requests. And that is... I'm thinking the best way. As long as I keep on doing the attacks he requests... Also... Oh! Oh! No! 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 I hit the wrong button. And I can't swim fast. Okay, dude. 
Oh, I really hope this doesn't mess up my effectiveness. Dude, stop moving. No! I think this is going to really mess up my effectiveness. Please do not move. No. Okay, no. It didn't it didn't affect a thing. Okay. I just panicked. I think it did drop a bit though. It might have dropped a bit. If I am 100% honest, I think that is what happened. There we go. So we just got to keep on doing the ambush tactics. So, yeah. From what I'm seeing, just doing the preferred one is all at once. I mean, well, you can do the other ones and it gives you like 1%. It's like feeding it the wrong berry. So if you kill the creature with the right attack, it gives you the right percent of percentage. And honestly, uh, I have all the, was it, the Atlas Fish mod installed. So now I have all these, you know, fish around for me to just attack which I would highly recommend uh, my first one I tamed with manta rays and a lot of megalodons and if I'm honest with you that was a very sketchy like I did not even trust it I thought I was gonna die I thought the, uh, the alama, uh, alama I can't even anomalo cares I as you can see there I legit just forgot what this thing was called and couldn't even pronounce it all right and i even learned this word way like how to pronounce this way back for a mod a different mod which was the sunken worlds anomaly cars which still i i love it was an it was legit it was a sh an aquatic shoulder pet that worked like a pseudo uh, scuba tank that would siphon off your food doesn't that sound kind of fun I mean, yes, you can. You get them on. Uh, all right, you can absolutely get them on uh, Ark Survival Editions, or, or not Editions, Ascended. I'm stupid. You can definitely get it with Ark Survival Ascended. Uh, it's just three creatures though, and I was thinking about it. Maybe I could get that one and disable the Anomalacares somehow, and also, also get the two creatures that they have in there. Alright, so I need to do the parasitic attack. Come here, my man. Luckily, this guy can t turn in place. Dang it. Ah! I need to hit them with the parasitic attack. I don't think it's going to let me do an ichthy. Oh, have I eaten everything around here? I have. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. That's one parasitic attack. You know what? these these were the best watch look at that because then you would actually stop and munch so I'm guessing this is also a health attack your raptor thirties. my raptor do I have a raptor Okay, I have to get the Venom attack. I'm messing this up. Come on. Alright, this guy legit just needs to be killed with the Venom attack and we got it. There we go. Perfect. Now, is there something in my base? Like, full-heartedly. I have to get back. Also, you can ride the Anomalacares until you hop back off of it from taming. Um... So, to get back on it, you will need a saddle. Also, I have a saddle on me. There we go. Now, I gotta get back to base. I think there's something attacking it. I mean, there shouldn't be anything in the base. All access points are literally gunned up. And I don't have raptors. Where did... Did I have a raptor? Like, I obviously did if it popped up in the Explorer. Now. Also, I know we're getting sidetracked here. I was trying to show you guys the Anomalo today. But. Huh. I don't know. Also, this one, like, got, like, a black color to it. And it looks awesome. So, I'm going to bring you up here. 
And what I'm going to do here real quick is we're going to clear out this. Clear Dino Finder. Boom. And I will dismiss that if I... No, no, no. I don't want you to follow me. I want you to stay. Stay. Also, let's throw on our tech armor so that way I can move properly. I can go throw this chitin back in the... Back in the vault there. Or I could actually go finally turn it into a blueprint. Either or. They are my best ones. I probably should go turn them into blueprints. Just so that way uh, I have the ability to make copies of them and I don't lose that set. You know? That's actually probably a good idea for to do right now. But as you guys know, I usually, when I get creatures, I like to make uh, a genetic library. So what that is, if you haven't heard me say this before, it's basically I get a perfect breeding pair of creatures. So you know like how you would love you would level out their stats, you would get all the stats you would want on the creature and all that. Then you would start mutations. Yeah, that's what I do. So all these creatures in here, they are uh, exact same stats, exact same colors. They are exact breeding pairs. So I got one for the Dimantrosaurus there, the Gigaraptor, the Dunkley, Rhinonanthia, Helicoprion, Archon, like, there's a bunch so far. I even got the Acrocanthrosaurus already. Sorry, I legit am going dyslexic for some reason. <laughs> I need to probably read more, so that way I don't, like, forget how to read. Because I feel like that's what's happening. I'm just, I'm just slowly regressing. Now, now, hold up. Hold up. I just noticed this. View hunter levels. So I'm guessing, just like the moss chop, this thing has a secondary uh, leveling system besides the normal arc stat leveling system. Which, uh... That is... Oh... Uh, I actually kind of love that, because that means you can upgrade their abilities. Oh, <gasps> that is why he said these were for made for underwater caves. He legit, like, Garuga described these as for, for being for underwater caves. And that is awesome. Now, here's the true test. Are these breedable? I haven't even tested. Oh, yeah. They're absolutely breedable. Where's my Overraptor? Alrighty, so we got the first egg. What I'm going to do here real quick as well, because this will get annoying, because I know he will grab them. Uh, where'd it go? There we go. Now we're going to sit here and wait for it to hatch and see what we get. Alrighty, we're down to the last 10 seconds on this egg. I also honestly also really like the colors that he went for this egg. The dark, kind of bluish purple with the red. It's awesome. Ooh, ooh, stat check. Ah! You're a perfect one right off the bat. Also, I never check the mother's stats. Okay, okay, that's awesome. You got 60 health. We already kind of figured that out from seeing the child. And you did not come out a perfect 100. That one came out a perfect 100%. This one was a, I think, a 99.8% once it was done. If I was looking correctly. But... Oh, what the hell? Where did you... Oh, you got active camo. That is awesome, though. The first one we pop, no mutations. It got all the stats I want on it. Oh, yeah. Now we just got to get one that's a male. Now, there was the one thing I was kind of hoping Garuga's Anomalous had, and that was size variation. And that's just because here, recently, I've found a love for it in creatures, especially when breeding them. And it's thanks to this modded creature right here, the Dimantosaurus, right? It comes in only three sizes, but yeah, it's really awesome. Um, also, the Eryptid, the Eryptid, my lobster's here. <laughs> That's basically what I've been calling it. I've been calling this the lobster tank. This is my pearl farm as well. But these guys have been, they were ones that were really awesome to tame and all that. And... You can also breed them until you get something like this. This is a huge one. This thing is massive. Oh, jeez. Come on, mate. Also, if you are... If you're set to, like, have them on the ground, they flop around weird. But if you have them set to swim, which is you just toggle it by spacebar. Yeah. 
Also, what I wanted to see was the size comparison. I'd say these two are about the same size. And, of course, this one does have size variation. So this thing can go up to be bigger, by the way. These things can get bigger. The Eryptorids. Eryptorids. Yeah, I think I'm saying that right. If I'm not, you guys will definitely let me know in the comments. Alrighty, so it's probably time to stop trying to stretch the video out. So if you guys have found yourself at any point liking this video, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. And hopefully it also helps you out in taming your own or coming to a decision on buying the mod. It is five bucks. Um, also, one more thing. I am currently running a YouTube channel membership goal. It is $1.99 to join the membership. And once we hit that goal of 10 members, we will be opening up an ARC server. Now, though, with the release of something like ARC Editions Anomala Cares, um, where for you to join the server, you would also have to buy that mod. I'm also thinking about just leaving the mod out of the YouTube members server entirely. Um, unless you guys want to like put it to a vote and we will decide once that time comes around. But yeah, anyways, it's been Gunshay Mori, signing off.